until I got into Vegas and until I got to meet up with this great team and this great crew, I've never really been able to take off and let this fly like it's going right now. It's going great. I'm the Count. Everybody calls me Count because of uh, my crazy horror show background of being Count Cool Rider here in Las Vegas for uh, 10 years on television and now I'm the Count of Count's Customs where we build crazy hot rods, crazy choppers, work on people's cool projects and uh, we're in my town right here in Las Vegas and I'm glad y'all are here hanging out with me. At least nothing in Vegas should be normal really well because I hate being normal. I, I love the crazy. My father was just always in the car, so it, it's, it's kind of something that's been in the blood. And uh, I was always really interested in them, you know, really intrigued by them. It's kind of how Count's Custom started was, was the hobby, it was the hobby, the passion, the love affair behind the scenes. Welcome to Count's Custom. This is my place. It's definitely off the beaten path. It's not something that you would find out on the main road. And uh, you'd never know we were back there. There's a lot of stuff to see here. This is a 1932 Ford five window high boy chop top coupe. Uh, everything on it has a very traditional old school look to it but it's got some very modern things to it that make it a usable car. Everything you see on this car was done here. This car was built from the ground up, was painted here, was upholstered here, was everything was done under one roof right here in this building. You can't be, you can't be upset and drive this car because you, you just can't stop smiling and everybody loves it. It's a fun ride. It's a really fun ride. <laughs> You know, Count's Customs really just kind of evolved. It, it wasn't, none of this was really planned. It just, it just kind of, just kind of grew all on its own and it grew into what you're seeing here today. When you walk around the shop, it doesn't look like a normal working shop. It's more like this, this crazy hangout slash museum slash gothic pimp palette. <laughs> whatever you want to call it, but you know when you come into a place and you got you know purple velvet walls, diamond tucks, and flames all over the place, and leopard couches, and just just the flavor of it is, is a pimpire flavor. So we just kind of came up with that term pimpire, and it's ours. So we we use that flavor in a lot of the things that we do. But what's fun is is watching somebody come into this place that's never been here before, and you forget how cool this place is until you see it through the eyes of somebody else. It's like taking a kid to Disneyland for the first time and they're like, you know, oh my God. You know, you could find, you could find your dream toy hiding around a corner over here, or you can come down and have your dream toy built right here in this place because we'll build it for you. 